This slide uses the ball and stick model of ethane to highlight the distinction between the eclipsed conformation, which is what you see in these structures at the top, versus the staggered conformation, which is the three at the bottom. And the differences are arrived at by starting here in the upper left in the eclipsed arrangement. And you can see those two red hydrogens, one's right in back, back of the other. And we rotate that front carbon 60 degrees to the right. That gives us this second structure, which is shown at the bottom. And then in turn, you keep t twisting that carbon-carbon bond six, 60 degrees at a time. The important takeaway message from this slide is that the situations in which the uh, bonds are eclipsed is they're, dr they're drawn here at the high position because they're at high potential energy and that equates to them being unstable. The ones at the bottom, the staggered conformations, are drawn at, as being low potential energy uh, because they are more stable. So this blue line is kind of reminiscent of hills and valleys and just as say a rock at the top of a hill has high potential energy uh, it wants to roll down that hill and settle at the bottom. Uh, so too do the conformations of ethane work that way. Ethane prefers to have staggered arrangements because that keeps those hydrogens on the front carbon a little bit further away than the hydrogens on the carbon in back. So we want to be able to recognize and distinguish what's eclipsed versus what is staggered and just to know that staggered is more stable. The actual energy numbers here don't matter uh, for what we're going to do. We just want to know staggered uh, is preferable for a molecule if it can manage it. So you need to know the distinction between staggered and eclipsed and uh, here's some other terms that are important. If we go from ethane to butane we now have four carbons and if we're looking down the second and third carbon then we find that there's uh, another aspect to conformational analysis here. Uh, both of these conformations that are shown on this slide are staggered, so they're good in that respect, but they're not equivalent to each other. And it's actually easier to see the distinction with these Newman projections here over at the far right. Uh, that uh, Y-shaped series of bonds, they meet at a carbon that is closer to us than the carbon represented by that big circle, which is the carbon in back. And so here we can clearly see the bond angles and, and certainly tell that both of these are staggered. And because we're looking down the center of this molecule, the second and third carbon, that means there are methyl groups that are on the ends. And at the top structure here, these two methyl groups are at a 60 degree angle. They're not in the same plane, one's behind the other, but we can see that there is a uh, 60 degree difference in their location. We say that those are torsion angles and a 60, 60 degree torsion angle is called a gauche conformation. That's a French word. Anyway, the methyl groups are said to be in a gauche arrangement. And if you take that top conformation, if you take the uh, carbon, uh, the methyl group that's closest to us, I should say, and twist it 120 degrees uh, so that it's at the bottom here, uh, that creates the anti-conformation. Here the torsion angle between those methyl groups is said to be 180 degrees. So if we can get those methyl groups as far apart as possible, uh, that's going to be more stable. So in real butane, both of these conformations, as well as many others, coexist, but more of the molecules are going to tend to arrange themselves in this anti-staggered conformation. Methyl groups are bigger than hydrogen, so they're going to want to be as far apart from one another as they can be. This next slide uses the stick models here, but it does for butane, what we saw for ethane. Again, structures at the top are going to be the ones that are eclipsed, high potential energy, not very stable. And at the bottom we can see uh, we've got our staggered arrangements. The one in the very middle bottom is the one that's at the very lowest potential energy, and that's the one that's anti. On either side, you've got two different gauche conformations. So they're less stable than the anti-conformation, but much more stable than these eclipsed ones at the top. 